Mum, tell me about the scullery and what... Um... The scullery later was for animals with fodder above. What do you mean later? Earlier. Well, I'll tell you, this is... Part of this is earlier that I'm going to tell you about. Okay. And this is probably 16th century, 1550. Kitchen. Not the whole of what we now think of as a kitchen. It was, this part was 1550. This tree, which is one tree from that end to the other end of the hall. Right. Was one tree trunk. Oh, first of all, I have to tell you how in the 16th century, how they built these houses was to lay them on the ground. And so, and then dig holes, and then the whole village came out, gave it a shove, and they fell in the hole, and there was frame of the tree. House. What? Frame of the house. Frame of the house, yes, frame of the house. You, and they designed the house before they laid it on the ground. Hmm. And So this, what would the design of this house have been when they laid it on the ground? Simply consisting of the scullery and two rooms where the kitchen well, imagine is? imagine it lying flat. Yes. It would be the outside be the outside um, beams, walls, be? posts, posts yeah. outside posts. So there would be I, I've, I've counted them sometimes, but I think there are seven. Mm -hmm. um, and a similar number down here. Mm -hmm. Forget about windows altogether. Mm -hmm. um, and there would be this right down the middle, which was the important part because mm -hmm. it was the, it held the whole thing together. It. Well, didn't come till much later. When it came, they pushed, they got the whole village, the whole village built each of these houses, really, once the owners had laid it down. And they all took a post and pushed it up together. So it was a house, every house was built by the whole village. So what date are we talking now? 1550. 1550, gosh, okay. That's the first That's date. the first bit, okay. And at that stage, just go back to this house. What would it have consisted of? So we've got the we've got we've got the it was two houses. We've in got fifteen fifty. Okay, we've got the, the 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 pigs or goats or something in the uh, yes, and no, not in the, what is now the scullery. Yes, that would be the animals. Animals. I think there would probably be a cow. Every village had a cow. It wouldn't come inside there. Yes, they would came it? inside in the depth of, depth winter, of winter because they were not our cows. They were cows as they were then, much smaller. Right. And then up above was, was their fodder. Was their fodder, which went up stairs, no, well, up, no up, stairs. A ladder, up a ladder, up a ladder, in sacks. In sacks. Okay. All but right. We're mixing yes, I know. different dates. <laughs> yes, okay. So there was no upstairs till later. What date? What, when was the upstairs created, do you think? I don't know. I'd have to write this down. Yeah. But um, well, you, it was when these were put in. Probably sixteen hundred. So another fifty years after the original I house, something so. like that. Yeah. Okay. And of course, the the loft was much much later. Mm. Everything. Has... But it was thatched. Was it thatched? Oh, of course. Thatched, there's no yeah. other way. Of okay, that's yeah. That's... Putting a roof on a house. No. No corrugated. Okay, house. so you've got half no this ki half this kitchen, which would have been the kind of the... two houses. In two houses, so the houses. Yes, this is Mrs. Smith, and that's Mrs. Robinson. And they would have been divided where your wall yeah. is here, yeah. kitchen wall is here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And but th because it had to go through this one tree, and you'll see this is one tree. Just imagine the size of the tree. Yeah. Look at the size of this. This is one thing, right down the middle. It was an enormous tree, and was some of these beams were ships. No, that was much later. That's later. Okay. All right. Okay. So and then, Mrs. X and Mrs. Y are next door to one another. Yeah. Adjoining and, houses, and like and a tow. Push this up. Okay. So it's, then they got the then they got the posts from the then they got the posts from the ships. Right. And the they think I never got them dated. You have to de 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 decronize or whatever it's called. Um, the 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 holes. And we never got that because it was going to cost another whatever we didn't have, yeah. £150 or something. Mm. And they date those holes. And they, all those holes, date from the ships. So the holes are, okay, I can't see a hole. Yes, I can. Okay. Up, there are sort of four or five up, up there. Up there, yeah, okay. And that's Phil. That's Phil. <laughs> 
and he's 15, 16. <laughs> <laughs> Feels it some days. <laughs> okay, so we, you, we don't know how old the holes, the holes are, so we don't know how old the ships were. That but was we do... a later date from the beam. From the beam, okay. So the beam... Not much later. So the posts and the beam went up, but there must have been connecting things between the posts and yes, the beam. Yes, and then they had to put these... Rafters. Mm. And they are called them. They are called beams. Right. And where are they from? Well, if you look at them, they're all different dates. Right. They go up to about the 19th century there. That one is... You see, there's been quite a different kind of tool used on it. Which one are we looking at? The one... The one with the light on. The one with the light on. And this one... That, this one is much later. You can see it's much smoother. Yeah, OK. The oldest ones are like that which was bit, bits of tree. Yeah. Okay. Another tree, probably. And this was a bigger tree. Mm -hmm. You can see because mm -hmm. they were mm. the size of the beam, mm. really. Mm. Um, and I said, what about all this cracking? Mm. Are we going to have cracked beams? They put it up with a crack in it because they knew by the look of it whether it was going to ever give away. Crack again. Give way. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's like... Um, green oak that we've been making those benches for Dad and Rob out of. Yes. Um, they do crack. They will crack to almost. Yes, they crack, but that's part. But of that's their okay. Nature. That's part of it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And presumably these are all oak. Everything's oak, including yeah. these. Now you see that one over the window there would be an early beam holding that what part of that side of the house mm. together. Mm. No, that would be earlier because look at look at the, look at the state of it. And then somebody said we'll have windows and they put ones. that one on. Yeah. They're all they've all grown yes. these houses yes. Yes. Yeah. from the first to the yeah. end. Yeah. But this was the start of it. Mm. Okay. Um, now, and and so that no, under there. No, just, just before you do that, over there, um just to the left of the oven is a square bit of ceiling where you think the hearth was. No, the hearth was big and took up the whole of the end of the house to start with. Okay. Then they decided to put in a chimney. They thought this was a good idea and they could have a smaller fire and take the smoke out of the... Uh, until then, the smoke just lived in the house and they all lived in a fog. Mm. Uh, well, they had a hole they in They must have had a hole in the hole roof. hole in the top. Yeah. Um, but that wasn't very good. But that, then the house was always being thatched, you see, and it was changed. Mm. This roof... Is 20th century. This thatch. This oh yes, I know. We, but we the did. roof that the thatch is on. Yes, is old. 20th century. Oh right. It's quite late. Okay. Okay. Um, stop there, and then we're going to go into the hall later, and discuss okay. the hall. Unless you, unless there's more to say in here. Oh yes. No, you're going to say something about over here. Yes, down there. Yes, that, that's very old because that was. One of the when they started doing these walls, if you can imagine a child's drawing, you have the top of it, and then you have the uprights, and then you have a thing at the bottom to hold it together, mm. and that's the thing at the bottom. And you'll find that on the other side, and also in the loo, because that's the end of the house, right? right. Until 1970, right? Okay, and even in 1930. There were ten families living here, mostly five and five. When was it made into two, one house? Do we know that? Nobody's quite sure. Hmm. Probably 1700. Hmm. Just describe, because you've got a lovely wattle and daub um, pane. pane in that your hall. That was somebody who was renovating it, who thought people should see what's inside what it's made this of. hall. We'll, I'll go and... That's much later. Yes. That's infill, really. You have the posts, you have everything. And so what would they have filled up between the, in 1550? Blowing wind. And that's why they didn't have windows. They didn't need them. But you must have had something to fill between the well, posts. Well, yes, I think you'd probably stuff in Mud some, and yeah. fur and Well, that's what's drawn and things. And well, that's what I'm saying. But you just said that's much later. Well, not much later. Perhaps 50 years later. Okay. I've got a book about it upstairs. Okay, all right. So in the hall, um, you've got more. You've got the extension of this long beam, which is one single oak. Yeah, that's the most important thing in the house. Yeah. And is there anything else in the hall? One that's... tree, and I think she thinks she, she didn't. She didn't date it, but she thinks it grew here. 
Oh, goodness. So somebody said around here, lovely tree, let's make a house around it. Right. So there must have been lots of lovely oaks all growing everywhere. Not a lot. It's not a good area for oak. Oh. So I said, it's not a good area for oak. How would this grow here, all these bits? She said, it must have been good enough. Mm. So to go back to the hall, is there anything else of interest in the hall that we should think about? Yes, it's worth going in there and having a look, really. OK, we'll do that in a minute. Yeah. OK. Thank you, Vivian. <laughs>